We gonna do some books today. We gonna do some books today. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous people. Welcome back to my channel. What's up, Guan? Big up, big up yourself. Anyway, how you greet yourself. Welcome back. So my name is Rudy, for those of you who are new here, and I hope you stay till the end of the video and hopefully subscribe. And to my returning subscribers, thank you for the love, thank you for the support. So I know it has been a while <laughs> since I have posted. There's just been so many things going on in my life, from work to research to my child being sick where everything else, you know, take a back burner for me to give her my full attention. There's just been so many things. But here I am, I'm going to try and be as consistent as possible throughout this Christmas season and do a few videos and shorts here and there. I really do hope you enjoy it. I know I'm a new channel so do give me the feedback and let me know what you like, what you don't like or what you would like to see me try. So today's video is just about one of the Christmas traditions that I have been doing since my daughter has been a toddler. A toddler, yep. And it's called the 25 Days of Christmas Bugs. So it has evolved throughout the years when she was younger it used to be just 25 bucks all christmas related but as she's grown older it has evolved into some of her favorite books books that i would like her to read and i think it's just like the perfect opportunity to you know get them to try a series that you think would be really good or really appropriate for their age it's like a little taste or something to just get them liking a particular genre or a particular book and if they like it then you know okay go ahead and get the rest of the sets and then if they don't you know you know at least you introduced it to them so it's a variety of books that I do at this age. Some of them are Christmas themed, others are mystery, graphic novels. She's really into graphic novels these days. Just a wide variety. And these books I collect throughout the year. So some I buy particularly at Christmas time, especially like those books that are Christmas related or holiday related and then the others are books that I get throughout the years. I get my book from libraries. Sometimes the libraries will have book sale when they're trying to get rid of books. Um, some of these books are books that are on sale or buy one get buy one and get two instead like sometimes I'll get books that way. I will go to um, secondhand bookstores. Those are awesome good because it actually supports local individuals so I do get books there and you really get a steal off a deal like the last time I went out, I got, I think it was nine books and I only paid $25. That is a really good deal if you know the price of kids book because they can range from as little as $8 to as much as honestly 20 something dollars depending on the type of book you're getting. But it's just a wide variety. It's a great way to spend time with your child throughout the holiday season. You're reading a book with them, a chapter book with them. A book a comic it just whatever book you're reading with them you're getting their perspective they're reading to you it's just that that good feeling and my daughter looks forward to it because as I said I've been doing this for her since she's a toddler so once <laughs> November hit she's like oh mom are you gonna do this again I really enjoyed it so I was like okay I gotta get my gears going and I gotta get these books wrapped so I normally wrap the books and I normally use a, a plain paper so it's normally plain brown this one have a little bit of design on it but that's okay and she really looks forward to it so during the week she gets to pick it after school after she's had her bath time after school she gets to pick it and then we'll read it on the weekend she can pick it in the morning the afternoon or the night it doesn't matter because it's the weekend but it's wrapped in something like this and she enjoys it if i do run out of brown paper though sometimes i'll use like a plain white paper or plain red paper it doesn't really matter once you have the books wrapped then <laughs> that's all that matters so it's 25 days of reading or 25 days of christmas whatever you want to call it and i normally start november 30th so november 30th to december 24th is normally when we do those 25 days of reading the last day which is the 24th it's normally done in the day because in the night she does get her night before christmas box which normally has a book but that's another video i'll tell you more about that and the last book is always 
Christmas related, Christmas theme, always have her going like, oh my god, I love this. And some of these books are chapter books as well. So she doesn't have to necessarily finish reading the book that particular night, depending on the book. And you know, school always gives their two weeks of holidays. So that's another thing you can get your kids reading and it helps to build their reading skills. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the books that I have purchased, the 25 books that I'm going to wrap this time around. And then you're going to wrap with me. So hope you enjoy. I have all 25 books ready for my daughter. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. So that's done. So it will be a holiday of reading. Yay!